Hey, it's Anthony again. Uh, we get a lot of calls from people asking about the differences between tabletop or ceiling mounted projectors versus short throw projectors. So I just want to show you a little bit of uh, the differences between them. Right now, uh, you see the, this projected image behind me. I have a projector sitting on the table right there. Uh, but this would be the same if it were up in the ceiling or sitting on a cart. Here's your interactive whiteboard. As the instructor, anytime you need to work on something on the board, you're stepping in front of the projector, you see light in your eyes, and you cast a shadow. So your audience has to look at that, and you have to look at that, and step out of the way whenever you want to see something. Anytime someone stands up, walks in front of the projector, you're going to see that shadow. If someone's sitting too close to the board, you're going to see the shadow. Uh, so that's just what you'd have to deal with, with that type of setup. Now I want to show you a short throw. So what we have here is a short throw projector. This particular one is on a mobile stand, but this would be the same if it were mounted on the wall. This is the projector up here. Uh, this is a short throw, so the lens of the projector is about three to three and a half feet away from your board. As you can see, it's projecting an image up here. There is still some shadowing if I go to reach over to it, but as the operator, I'm really only casting a shadow of my arm and my arm's kind of in the way, so it's not that big of a deal. I can see what I'm working on, and the audience can see what I'm working on. Only if you stand real close to it will you cast that shadow. If you stand under the projector, which is a pretty good distance away, it's about arm's length, there's hardly any shadowing. And whatever you do cast, really your arm is in the way, so it's not as big a deal. You get to see a lot more of what you're working on. I want to show you now a ultra short throw or a super close projector. What I have here is an ultra short throw or super close projector as we might call it. Uh, as you can see this is much closer to the board. Uh, it's pretty much right up on it. And this is on a mobile stand but you can also have this configuration wall mounted. Uh, as you can see when you're working on the board there's even less shadowing and again your arm is in the way. I can stand right up next to it and I can see what I'm working on because the projector is literally projecting from right here. If you get any closer to it, you, know, you can cast a shadow, but you're physically in the way as well. Uh, so this is the ultimate as far as projectors go, because shadowing is almost not even there. As a presenter, you're gonna see the most that you can possibly see, and so is your audience. So in my opinion, as far as a projector goes, this is the best kind of setup. Lastly, we have our touch-sensitive LCD screens. In the case of the LCD screen, uh, there is no projector. It's basically a TV. Uh, but this would take the place of your whiteboard and projector combo. Uh, this is touch sensitive, it has a touch sensitive frame around it, so it's going to act as your whiteboard, and it's also making the video. So there's no projector, there's no shadowing, it's not even an issue. Uh, you can stand in front of it, you can touch it all you want, there's no shadowing anywhere. This is the ultimate. <laughs> no projector required. Uh, so basically that is all the options as far as interactive whiteboards go. You have your table mounted or ceiling mounted projectors, you have your short throw projectors, your ultra short throw projectors, and lastly the LCD screen. So I hope that helps and if you have any questions you can always call us at 866-942-6273. Thanks a lot.